After Tiali disappeared, Rick Thorburn did everything he could to help police find her killer. But it was all an act to divert any suspicion from him or his family. Today, police revealed how an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers led them back to the Foster family. Rick Thorburn played the role of the caring, concerned parent, even carrying Tiali Palmer's casket at her funeral. But it was all a lie, part of a calculated cover-up reinforced by his entire family. He was quite plausible. He, he was a good liar. From the moment Thorburn murdered his 12-year-old foster daughter, he deliberately misled police. He reported her missing, coordinated searches and made public pleas for help. Rick never once um, deviated from his story. He never once um, failed to cooperate with investigators on any level. The elaborate secret started to unravel six months later with an anonymous call to Crime Stoppers with information about his son Trent having sex with his foster sister Tiali. The family was called in for questioning by the Crime and Corruption Commission and police planted listening devices in their home. In the recordings, Thorburn's son Joshua says... Dad made the decision to go down that path, unfortunately, and we are going to have to live with it. Rick can be heard telling his wife, Juleen, don't you dare tell anyone ever. That's when things f*** up. Juleen replies, it's not fair on everyone. You could come clean. In September 2016, police swooped, arresting all four Thorburn members. He didn't see it coming. He, uh, he, was, he was getting more and more erratic at that stage, but... Um, uh, yeah, I don't think he saw it coming. Even though he's pleaded guilty, Rick Thorburn has never told police, nor his family, how he killed the child he was supposed to protect. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear from his own mouth what he did and why he did it. As justice is served, there are still questions to be answered. Christian Silver, ABC News, Brisbane. The murder and cover-up of Tiali's death by the people trusted to care for her sparked community outrage and an overhaul of Queensland's child protection laws. The government was forced to admit serious failings in processes and staffing, but says changes may not have saved the young girl's life. When police revealed Tiali Palmer's foster family may have been involved in her death, there was disbelief and outrage. I am sickened by what police allege happened to Tiali Palmer. I'm extremely upset that the people who were entrusted to look after my daughter are the very people who took her innocence and her spirit and her life. The 12-year-old Logan schoolgirl disappeared in late October, but it shockingly took authorities six days to issue a missing persons report. Community anger sparked a government review and overhaul of the child protection system. The examination exposed serious flaws, including chronic understaffing and poor information sharing. It urged mandatory criminal checks be expanded for prospective foster carers to include domestic violence and driving offences. Police were also given the power to issue missing persons alerts before getting permission from child safety authorities. We need to get the information out as soon as possible and we must do better. But in another sickening blow, the government revealed the Thorburns had run a family daycare centre at their Chambers flat home that continued for six months after Tiali was murdered. A review of the blue card system recommended applicants should have their child protection history checked and police should be able to share information about suspects in child safety cases. But even after all the internal inspection, no one could say whether the changes would have saved young Tiali. We can't work out whether efforts were sufficient in attempting to locate Tiali or whether a, a different response would have changed the outcome for her. Today as this sad case draws to a close, just over a quarter of the 100 recommendations have been implemented but the government says it is committed to all the changes. As the judge said today, there was nothing that anyone knew about Rick Thorburn that would have predicted what was going to happen and what he was capable of. An innocent life, the tragic catalyst for increasing protections for other vulnerable children. Alison Horne, ABC News, Brisbane.